and more protests at federal court. With Daniel's arrest, we have seen the federal government break in its promise and shown that it cannot be trusted. But Homeland Security officials argue Ramirez is an admitted gang member. During the raid, he was asked about any gang ties. According to agents, he responded, he used to hang out with the Sereños in California and still hangs out with the Paisas in Washington State. DHS also says since the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program was started by President Obama in 2012, 1,500 recipients have lost their free pass due to committing crimes or joining gangs. But that's done nothing to silence critics who say President Trump has launched a deportation offensive targeting undocumented immigrants who do not have criminal records. Homeland Security says it's just business as usual. This month, immigration and customs enforcement raids led to 680 arrests. But under President Obama, enforcement was actually much higher. In March 2015, there were 2,059 arrests. April 2012, more than 3,100 arrests, and another 2,900 in September 2011 all with far less of an outcry. The removal operations under President Trump, however, have been front page news with plenty of inaccuracies which ICE responded to on Twitter. Reports of ICE checkpoints and sweeps or roundups are false, dangerous, and irresponsible. These reports create mass panic and put communities and law enforcement personnel in unnecessary danger. Any groups falsely reporting such activities are doing a disservice to those they claim to support. After a quick hearing, Daniel Ramirez was not released as his lawyers and supporters had hoped he will get a bond hearing in front of an immigration judge. Meantime, expect every ICE raid and deportation to get a level of scrutiny definitely not seen during the last administration. Chris? Dan.